I realize that I haven't addressed you directly. Hi, I'm Shelby. I didn't realize when I started this channel that I would get this kind of response. Hundreds of comments, good and bad, people's stories and their experiences with the church. 20 some years, ain't got much to show. Spend most of my matches back against the ropes. And there's a crowd looking on, what do you want to see? Been throwing fights my whole life for the right fee. I need to win one, give me back on my feet. So today, this is when we were Mormon, because I'm going to be reading your stories. Nothing comes easy, and if it does, it comes cheap. Like a bottom shelf bird in all the lies that I tell through my teeth. There's a fire in my eyes and I want to watch it burn. When I was 17, I got pregnant. This is when I knew I needed to leave the church. My bishop knew I was unwed and of course I got a call to see him. He was so cruel and lectured me about my sin and I wasn't allowed to take the sacrament. Nothing was ever said about the father, only what a I was. I went to church a couple times after that. My grandmother gave me a wedding ring to wear. They passed the sacrament right past me both visits. The shame was unbearable. I placed my son for adoption and in the end it was the best choice for both of us. I was fifth generation LDS. I brought great shame to my family, and to this day, we don't have a relationship because of my decision to leave. This was 37 years ago, and I've grown, blossomed, and have a relationship with my son. Thanks for sharing your story. This has to end. I bear my testimony that the LDS Church is not true, simply based on theology, but they reject their own. This is what makes me so mad, is that this church teaches their members to shun their own family for not believing what they believe. This person hasn't had their family for 37 years. And when I say teach, I really mean condition. Because they condition you to excommunicate your family, to exile those who don't believe as they believe. Because once you learn the factual truth, you become a threat. I was raised to believe I had darker skin because of a curse. Hard not to internalize how you're lesser than others. All right, I gotta get in here on this one. Here's the problem. The very foundation of this church is based on a racist narrative. The Book of Mormon has racist scripture, black and white text in the book. When it says God cursed them with a skin of blackness, that's what it says. That's what it says, right? We've put this in a, in a couple of videos now. The reason I have a problem with that is because everybody likes to make excuses about the fact that this says skin of blackness. They like to say things like, oh, they're talking about spiritual skin or they're talking about, why are we making excuses for racism? In Joseph Smith's day, they were all racist. They all owned slaves. They all owned all this stuff. Like it, It's incredibly suffocating and very narcissistic to make excuses for a racist. The louder we are about racism 
and the clear facts that racism is in this book, the Book of Mormon, that the Book of Mormon is racist. The louder we are about that, the more change we're gonna see. They scared of nothing, I was born in hell. We got the heat, the sinners, and the devil is well. This kind of town, it just fans the blame. It don't mean nothing unless the world knows your name. And my friend plays a mean guitar. He writes the riffs and I sing the bars. And we practice in a band of railroad cars. We sound like trash but think we're superstars. We were just young, dreaming the dream. And trying to make our name up on that local scene. I'm going to be honest. When I made the video about adoption, I had no idea that there are hundreds, thousands of people with almost the exact same story. I was 19 when I got pregnant. They told me they already had a family for him. I told them no. They weren't very happy. Good for you. <laughs> they hunted me down and came to my house. I was told I was being selfish by keeping her. I still did, and I'm so glad I did. I mourn for all of us. Why are these unqualified men, who aren't the father of the baby, trying to tell young women what to do with their babies? This practice is grossly unacceptable. Especially when it has nothing to do with the woman's ability to care for a child. And it's based solely on their perception of your worthiness. It hurts so bad when this happens. My older brother no longer lets me visit. He chose to teach his kids I was going to hell. My oldest brother is one of those who is very comfortable living in his own toxic masculinity. He believes he's going to become a god. And because he holds the priesthood, he's better than me. He's better than my husband. And he just doesn't want to hang out with us. You're making videos to get affirmation from the world. You are showing that you care about garnering praise and avoiding criticism. Intersectionality is now more important because of political, social contagion, and pressure. Not because it is a good thing to judge people by skin color, sex, and age, and what you think history says about them from the popular authoritarians of our day. You have placed yourself in the group that thinks Christians can't tell people their beliefs are wrong, but they can. People read their scriptures because they are accurate to reality and how life is designed. For instance, Alma chapter 30 has an antichrist named Korahor, and you are repeating the same message he had and for the same reasons. Out of all the possibilities that it could have been, instead, it is predictive that it is so similar to people's attitudes now. So, Korahor, as was stated, is the antichrist in the Book of Mormon. Or, you know, who they consider to be the Antichrist because he didn't teach what everyone in the Book of Mormon was teaching to the people and how they should be righteous and whatnot. So I'm pretty sure I just got called the Antichrist. And I'm pretty sure that has a nice ring to it. <laughs> <laughs> Dislike and don't recommend channel. This is the opposite of what shorts should be. I got some shorts for you. I got some shorts for you. <laughs> the book is not the problem. It's the people. No, it's all the problem. Thank you for watching the video. If you're still here, consider liking, subscribing, and even commenting. Who knows? It might make it in a video. We'll see you guys next week. No, seriously. <laughs> Bye. No, really. Goodbye. <laughs> Good day, sir. Alma baptizes in the waters of Mormon. Yeah, that looks like John the Baptist. Uh, Lehi and his people arriving in the promised land. Yeah. Holding the compass invented by the Chinese. Oh, the compass that didn't exist until like... This one? Yeah, the one that he later. just quite literally walked out of his tent one morning and saw sitting on the ground. Hey, there's a compass that hasn't been invented yet. Cool. Yeah, but it like writes words on it according to your righteousness. Yeah, and that's how it tells you where to go. Cool compass. Cool. We should use that for branding. Yeah, actual.
Use the Liahona for branding. That's a dope name, Liahona. That's a cool name. I just wanna fight for a cause. If I get to know my purpose, I don't know if I like it or not. God, I know that you're the answer when I'm searching my mind. I forgot. When I'm walking through the fire, I just look toward the light when it's high.